This is Professor Darif Seitz. This Java tutorial illustrates graphical user interface mouse events. Here's the application we'll be examining. It uses a border layout, layout manager. This um, pictorial area here with the ships is in the center area of the border layout. And at the bottom down here is the south area with a label and another label that dynamically follows the mouse based on mouse events. First let's look at the mouse coordinates. The upper left up here and the far upper left is where the zero zero is. It's pretty hard to exactly get it zero zero. As you move to the right the X increases. As you move down the Y increases. The mouse as you move it uh, mouse events are being fired and a handler is receiving them and updating this label down here. Each ship has a circle drawn around it in yellow with a label for each ship, ship 1, 2, and 3. If you click inside the circle, the circle turns red. If you click outside it, it turns back yellow works the same way for all three sh ships. Let's look at the code now. The class is called Mouse Events. It extends a JFrame. The contents container, as I mentioned, is the default border layout. There's a panel that is called Panel Center and it's a class called mouse panel that extends jpanel and that's going to be used in the main region the center region of the border layout and there's a j label that serves as where the updates of the mouse position occur the constructor gets the contents instantiates a new mouse panel for the center and adds it to the center and then the status panel has a panel itself puts in the label that's going to be used for the mouse position and it puts that in the south area of the border layout sizes the window and here's the main function that gets things going set specific size is used to size the panel to precisely uh, the size for the image. The inner class here, mouse panel, extends a J panel. So it is a J panel. And it implements the mouse listener and the mouse motion listener interfaces. It has those functions in it implemented, or at least a uh, skeletal implementation for all the ones that are required for those interfaces. And if we look down here, it has a buffered image for the ships called image ships declared, centers for the ships, their x and y coordinates, the radius of the circles, and three flags to keep track of if we're near a given ship. The constructor calls the base class jpanel and here set specific size dimensioning it to be exactly the size of the image that's being used. Then in the constructor it adds a mouse listener itself is going to serve as the mouse listener because it implements the necessary event handling functions and add mouse motion listener. To get the image, it uses an image I.O. read with a new file and in a try catch block to detect a situation if the file is not found. There's a distance between two points function that takes the coordinates of two points and returns the distance between them as a double. It's using the distance formula, standard distance formula there draw a circle given a graphics context, context and the center of the circle and its radius. It's a convenience method for drawing a circle 
uh, in a more natural way, just knowing its center and radius, then having to know its upper left quarter and its width and height of its bounding box. Here we have the event handlers themselves. Mouse clicked. We set those near ships to false. We get the X and Y coordinate out of the event object, which, which comes into the um, handler. Calculate the distance between the mouse point and ship 1, and if it's less than or equal to radius, we set the flag and call repaint, which will cause the painting to reoccur for this panel. We do the same thing for the other two ships. And if it's not near any of them, then we call repaint as well because we may have clicked a ship and then clicked outside a ship area and we need to turn it off. Mouse dragged, mouse entered, and mouse exited are other functions of the interfaces that we're not using. We have to implement them, but we just give them a default empty implementation because we don't use them. Mouse moved, we get the position of the mouse and using a string builder, which is a very efficient way of building up a string, uh, we build up the mouse position with the parentheses, the X and Y, and the comma, because this is happening many, many times as we're moving the mouse around. We don't do anything with mouse pressed or mouse released. Here's the paint component method, which in the swing class hierarchy is where the painting is done. We call the super paint component, passing in the graphics context. We get a, a G2, which is a graphics, con, uh, graphics 2D. Because the G is a graphics 2D, we uh, explicitly typecast it to that because we are going to use some of the graphics 2D uh, methods. We save off the default stroke. We don't actually use it, but in case we needed to, and here we set uh, with the G2 anti-aliasing so that the circles are drawn with anti-aliasing, uh, sort of grayish um, blends of colors so that there's no staircase kind of jagged edges on, on the corner, on the rounding. Then we draw our image right away because that's the background and all the other drawings will go on top of it. For each circle, we find out if we're near that ship. If we are, we set the color to red. Otherwise, we set the color to yellow. We draw the circle. We do that for each circle. And then the text for the three ships uh, uses relative positioning based on the center of the ships. Let's go ahead again and go to the top here and review the things that have been demonstrated. We talked about anti-aliasing, the fact that we did turn that on, and that makes the smooth the circle smoother. Background image being drawn, drawing in a J panel, showing how to do the paint component method to do that, and extending a J panel that implements mouse listeners. And we did that because our mouse panel class extends the J panel and we use that for the center area of our border layout. Going back and running the application again, here again we see the user interface. The title bar at the top does give little instructions there. Move the mouse and click the mouse. So when you move it you see down here the coordinates, the X and Y are changing quite rapidly. And then whenever we click, it detects whether they're near a ship. And if so, highlights the, selects the ship perimeter. That's the area that's being detected. As you can see, if we get real close to one of these circles here and click, it, we're not in there. We can get real close. And as soon as we get on the circle, it detects it using the distance formula. So this illustrates um, mouse events, mouse motion, 
and mouse click in particular.